Welcome to the Madison Order Podcast. Today is Monday, January 29th, 2023. Today we're going to recap the NFL Conference Championship Games and look ahead to um, everything. Uh, we'll look ahead to the Super Bowl a little bit, talk about subplots. And then we have college basketball, NBA, NHL, soccer, golf, tennis, news and notes, and best bet. We'll start the NFL. Um, the AFC and the NFL. But nonetheless, um, somewhat predictable. All right, AFC title game. Chiefs over the Ravens 17-10 to advance to their fourth Super Bowl in the Patrick Mahomes era. So congrats to the Chiefs. They did it again. A lot of key players out for them. And Patrick Mahomes and company find a way to get it done. Their defense was outstanding. And the Ravens, their defense kept them in the game. Lamar Jackson just shrunk when it mattered. And that is not great for the Ravens, who otherwise had a great season, and they have a lot to be proud of. But the questions are still there with Lamar in a big spot, and that's going to be the narrative. And that's really sad. And he's still going to win MVP. You know the haters are going to say he doesn't deserve MVP because he lost the game today. But MVP is a regular season award, and Lamar Jackson was great in the regular season, but stunk today. And it stunk when you needed him to be great. Patrick Holmes, 30 of 39, 241 yards and a touchdown. Lamar, 20 of 37, 272 yards, a touchdown in the pick, and 8 for 54 on the ground. So KC to the Super Bowl four times in five years, which is an accomplishment that... Is rare, but we've seen it with Tom and Bill with the Pats, but now we're seeing with Andy and Pat with the Chiefs. NFC title game, 49ers over the Lions, 34-31, as they come back from a 17-point deficit in the second half as the 49ers advance to their second Super Bowl in a five-season span to set up the rematch with the Chiefs. Um, which is awesome. Um, but the 49ers are just a machine, and they really woke up in that second half. Um, and the Lions had unforced hours that got the 49ers got going, just like similar to the Ravens, except um, I think that the Chiefs, um, not that the Chiefs didn't take advantage. It was like the Ravens had more chances in a weird way. But 49ers get it done after the first half scare. Although the Lions do cover. And I win both my bets with the under in the Chiefs game. And then the Lions getting the 7. So 2-0 and in championship weekend, which is awesome. I've really kicked butt in the playoffs betting this year. So that's. Pretty cool. So the Niners back to the Super Bowl. The face the Chiefs. Um, rematch from four years ago. In which the Chiefs won an absolute classic over the Niners. But, I mean, the cores of these teams are still the same. Like, the Niners still have Debo Samuel and George Kittle. Um, although they did add Christian McCaffrey and Brock Purdy's their quarterback now. It was Jimmy Garoppolo and they were there a couple years ago. And Shanahan's still there. Nick Bosa, still there. A couple other guys on defense, still there. And then the Chiefs, their, their core is still there with Mahomes and Kelsey and Andy Reid. So, and a couple guys on defense, too, like Chris Jones. And then the kicker, Butker, still there, too. So, um, should be a fun rematch. We have weeks, a couple weeks to preview it and get ready. And should be a good game. And, oh, yeah, uh, Taylor Swift, obviously another subplot of this as well. And the odds she joins Usher at halftime. That has to be talked about. Absolutely has to. So there you have it for football.
Friday. Louisiana over Arkansas State, 8175. Ohio over Kent State, 7164. Niagara over Maris, 6762. Iona over Seattle, 7051. Canisius over Manhattan, 8270. Number 13, Wisconsin over Michigan State, 8166. St. Bonaventure over St. Joe's, 9172. Seattle over Utah Valley, 6261. And Cal over Stanford, 7371. Notable Saturday results. Number four, Houston over Kansas State, 7452. BC over Notre Dame, 6158. Virginia over Louisville, 6952. Maryland over Nebraska, 73-51. Florida over Georgia, 102-98 in overtime. Providence over Georgetown, 84-76. Decane over Fordham, 68-59. Number 14, Marquette over Seton Hall, 75-57. South Carolina over Missouri, 72-64. Number 23, Iowa State over number 7, Kansas, 79-75. Number 3, North Carolina over Florida State, 75-68. Number 20, Texas Tech over number 11, Oklahoma, 85-84. Number 21 BYU over Texas, 84-72. Oklahoma State over West Virginia, 70-66. Um, Toledo over Bowling Green, 88-72. Cornell over Princeton, 83-68. Yale over Harvard, 68-65. Miami over Pitt, 72-68. Number 10, Illinois over Indiana, 70-62. Butler over Villanova, 88-81 in double overtime. Grand Canyon over... UT Arlington, 67-61. Mississippi State over number 8, Auburn, 64-58. Number 12, Duke over Clemson, 72-71. TCU over number 15, Baylor, 105-102 in triple overtime. Number 18, Utah State over Boise State, 90-84 in overtime. Wyoming over 24, Colorado State, 79-76 in overtime. Charlotte over Tulane, 75-71. South Florida over UTSA, 89-72. High Point over Winthrop, 83-81. Colgate over American, 73-54. George Mason over Rhode Island, 92-84. Sanford over ETSU, 75-72. Marshall over Southern Miss, 83-67. Wazoo over Colorado, 78-69. Votek over Georgia Tech, 91-67. Iowa over Michigan, 88-78. Western Carolina over VMI, 102.77. Number 9, Arizona over Oregon, 87.78. Sam Houston over UTEP, 60.56. Troy over South Alabama, 83.79. Number 5, Tennessee over Vandy, 75.62. Number 6, Kentucky over Arkansas, 63.57. Richmond over number 16, Dayton, 69.64. Indiana State over Bradley, 95.86. No T. Drake over Northern Iowa, 77.63. LaSalle over George Washington, 80.70. Wofford over Furman, 77-67. App State over James Madison, 82-76. Minnesota over Penn State, 83-74. Number 17, Creighton over DePaul, 85-62. Oregon State over Arizona State, 84-71. Syracuse over NC State, 77-65. Cincy over UCF, 68-57. Fresno over Air Force, 84-70. Mercer over UNC Greensboro, 70-64. UCLA over USC, 65-50. Tulsa over Rice, 85-83. Alabama over LSU, 109-88. UMass over St. Louis, 84-73. VC over Davidson, 63-58. San Fran over Portland, 76-64. San Diego over Pepperdine, 69-67. Ole Miss over Texas A&M, 71-68. Northwestern over Ohio State, 83-58. UNLV over San Jose State, 77-65. Washington over Utah, 98-73. St. Mary's over LMU. 70-65, 70-65, Gonzaga over Pacific, 82-73. And then Sunday, number one, UConn over Xavier, 99-56. Rice State over IPUI, 83-76. Number two, Purdue over Rutgers, 68-60. Number 22, FA over North Texas, 66-63. Marist over Canisius, 80-71. Cleveland State over Robert Morris, 66-64. Louisiana over Texas State, 66-46. Youngstown State over Northern Kentucky, 82-52. St. Peter's over Siena, 63-52. Manhattan over Niagara, 84-78 in OT. Kennebec over Fairfield, 66-64. Yale Monroe over Arkansas State, 85-82 in OT. Wichita State over SMU, 77-72. UAB over number 19, Memphis, 97-88. EC over Temple, 76-4 in OT. And number 25, New Mexico over Nevada, 89-55. All right, tonight's late. 7 o'clock ESPN, number 12, Duke, Virginia Tech. Um... My line's Duke, 24, total 145 and 13 20ths, and it is, let's see, Duke, 
Three and a half total, 146 and a half. Oh, very close. Slight under. CBS Sports Network, BU, Holy Cross. My line is BU by um, a fifth total, 142 and three quarters. And it's four and a half and 135 and a half uh, over. NC Central, Delaware State, and a 730. My line is Delaware State, 4.9, total 138 and 11 20 And it's NC Central, one half, total 133 and a half. Um, that's a tough one, but I'm going to take Delaware State plus the points at minus 102. Morris State, Norfolk State, my line is Norfolk, 8 and 3 quarters, total 144 and 7 20 And it's 12 and a half and 146 and a half. Um, I'm going to take Morgan State plus the points. Howard, Coffin State, my line is Howard, 3.9, total 140 and 3 quarters. 7 half, 135 and a half. Um, over. 8 o'clock, Cassie State, Maryland Eastern. My line is EMS, 2.8, total 144 and a fifth. And it's Pickham and 140 and a half. Um, over. Well, technically. You missed by a half. Um, Jackson State, Florida and m My line is Jackson State, 6.7, total 147 and two fifths. And it's five and a half and 146 and a half. Um, slightly in Jackson State. New Orleans, Lamar. My line's Lamar, 5.2, total 154 and a quarter. And it's eight and a half and 159 and a half. I like the younger. And Corpus Christi and A&M Commerce. My line is Corpus Christi 2 to 142 and a tenth. And it's 2.5 and 139.5 um, over. Northwestern State, McNeese. My line is McNeese 16.6 to 144 and three quarters. It's 19.5 and 149.5. I like the 145.5. I read the wrong total. Um... I'll take Northwestern State to cover. Southeast Louisiana and Houston Christian. My line is Houston Christian one and three quarters, seven forty three and a fifth. As um Southeast Louisiana three and a half to one forty one and a half. Um I'll take Houston Christian plus the points to plus one forty six. Arkansas Pine Bluff Grambling, my line is Grambling five point three to the one forty eight and three thirteen twentieths. And six and a half and one forty five and a half. Um over. Miss Valley State Southern eight thirty my line is Southern sixteen point six total one thirty nine and seventeen twentieths and it is eighteen and a half and one thirty two and a half I like the over Alabama State and Texas Southern my line is Texas Southern two point one total one thirty eight and thirteen twentieths and we have four and a half and one thirty two and a half um, I like the over all right nine o'clock on ESPN number for Houston and Texas my line is Houston seven tenths total one thirty five and three tenths. And it's four and a half and one twenty nine and a half. Oh, I'm gonna take the over. That's low. Alabama and M in Prairie View. My line is Prairie View six point two to the one forty nine and two fifths. And it's seven and a half and one forty six and a half. I like the over. And last but not least, um, ESPN two Alcorn and Bethune. Mine's Bethune four and a half to the one fifty nine tenths, and it's two and a half and one fifty two and a half. Um, I'm actually gonna lay the points with uh, Bethune Cookman. This one. Okay, to the NBA. Um, we will recap the games from uh the weekend and look ahead to tonight. Um, and tonight is really busy. Um, Friday, Mavs over the Hawks, 148-143. Rockets over the Hornets, 138-104. Pacers over the Suns, 133-131. Clips over the Raptors, 127-107. Grizz over the Magic, 107-106. Cavs over the Bucks, 112-100. Thunder over the Pelicans, 107-83. Spurs over the Blazers, 116-100. Saturday, um, Knicks over the Heat, 125-109. Wizards over the Pistons, 118-104. Nuggets over the Sixers, 111-105. Nets over the Rockets, 106-104. Clippers over the Celtics, 115-96. Jazz over the Hornets, 134-122. Bucks over the Pelicans, 141-117. Spurs over the T-Wolves, 113-112. Lakers over the Warriors, 145-144. Double overtime, that was a thriller. Kings over the Mavericks, 120-115. 
And then yesterday, Pistons over the Thunder, 120 to 104. Pacers over the Grizzlies, 116 to 110. Hawks over the Raptors, 126 to 125. Magic over the Suns, 113 to 98. And the Bulls over the Blazers, 104 to 96. All right, I did not do totals for today, so I apologize for that in advance. Um, first game, Knicks Horn at 7 o'clock. My line is Knicks by 8. No Randall, no Mark Williams, and no Hayward. And it's 8 and 223. I'll take the over, even though those guys are injured. Clippers, Cavs. My line is Cavs 1 and a quarter. It's Clippers by 3, total 225. I'll take the Cavs plus the points, plus 124. 7 3, pissed. Or, Pelicans, Celtics, I almost said Pistons. Um, my line is Celtics, 11 and a quarter. And it's 7 half and 233 and a half. I'll lay it with the Celtics. Jazz, Nets, my line's a pick them. It's Jazz by 1, total 233 and a half. I'll take the over. NBA TV, Suns, Heat, my line is the Heat by a half. And it's 3 and a half and 229 and a half. I'll take the Suns getting the points. 8 o'clock, Lakers, Rockets. My line is the Lakers, 4.5. And, and it's Rockets by 1. I like the Lakers plus the 1 and minus 104. Kings, Grizzlies. My line is the Kings by 5. And it's 8 and 225. And half. I'll take um, Memphis getting the points. Um, next is T-Wolves, Thunder. My line is Thunder three and a quarter. And it's two and a half and two twenty four. Um I'll take the over. Don't feel good about it though. Wizard Spurs, my line is the Spurs three and a quarter. And um it is four and two forty. Um I like the under, that's low. I'm sorry, that's high. Um, 8.30 Magic Mavs. My line is the Magic 1.5. And it's Dallas by 5. Total to 28.5. I'll take Orlando getting the points. No Kyrie Irving. I think Orlando wins. They're plus 166. Outright. 9 o'clock Bucks Nuggets. Doctor versus debut. My line is the Nuggets by 3. It is 4.5 to 39.5. I'll take the under. And last but not least, NBA TV at 10 o'clock. You have the Sixers. And the Blazers. Um, right now, my line sits at Sixers ten and three quarters, and it is nine and two twenty four and a half. I'll take the over. All right, NHL. We'll go over the results from the weekend and look ahead to tonight's games. All right, Friday. Golden Knights over the Rangers, 5-2. Panthers over the Pens, 3-2. Shootout. Avs over the Kings, 5-1. Blues over the Kraken, 4-3 OT. Saturday. Bruins over the Flyers, 6-2. Stars over the Caps, 5-4 in OT. Oilers over the Preds, 4-1. Sabres over the Sharks, 5-2. Lightning over the Devils, 6-3. Rangers over the Suns, 7-2. Pens over the Habs, 3-2 in OT. Canes over the Coyotes, 3-1. Leafs over the Jets, 4-2. Panthers over the Isles, 3-2 in OT. Red Wings over the Golden Knights, 5-2. Ducks over the Wilds, 3-2. Flames over the Blackhawks, 1-0. Canucks over the Blue Jackets, 5-4 in OT. And then yesterday, Blues over the Kings, 4-3 in OT. And the Kraken over the Blue Jackets, 4-2. Only one game tonight. That's crazy. 7 o'clock NHL Network. You have the Preds at the Sens. Um, Sens minus 114. Preds minus 105. Over under 6.5. Overs minus 124. Unders plus 102. Preds plus one half is minus two forty five cents. Minus one half is plus ninety eight. I'm gonna go with the Preds at minus one hundred five. Although the logical pick would be Ottawa in the bounce back spot after losing to the Rangers at home, but I like Nashville minus one hundred five. Did the better goalie, and I don't why I don't know under or really understand why Ottawa's getting um favoritism when they're fifteen points worse than than uh, Nashville. So I'm gonna take Nashville. At minus 105 here. Now we're going to go over the notable soccer games from the weekend and look ahead a little bit to um, today. All right, the English FA Cup. Um, 
Friday, Sheffield Wednesday, Coventry, 1-1 one, one draw. Chelsea, Austin Villa, 0-0 nil, nil draw, so best bet lost. Bristol City, Nottingham first, 0-0 nil, nil draw. Man City over Tottenham, 1-0. Saturday, Maidstone United over Ipswich, 2-1. Leeds, Plymouth, 1-1 one, one draw. Brighton over Sheffield United, 5-2. Leeds, Est over Birmingham, 3-0. Luton over Everton, 2-1. Newcastle over Fulham, 2-0. Yesterday, Wolves over West Brom, 2-0. Watford, Southampton, 1-1 one, one draw. Liverpool over George City, 5-2. Man United over Newport, 4-2. And one game today, 2-30, you have Blackburn and Wrexham. Should be an interesting game. Um, let's see. Um, Blackburn minus one forty five. Rexham plus three thirty. The draws plus three ten. Rexham's playing good. I could see an upset here, so I'm gonna go with the upset with Rexham at plus three thirty. La Liga. Friday, Alaves over Almeria three 0 Saturday, Real Sociedad Rayo nil nil draw. Real Madrid over Las Palmas two one. Villarreal over Barcelona five three. Batista over Mallorca one nil. And then yesterday, Girona over Celta Vigo, 1-0. Cadiz Athletic, 0-0 draw. Sevilla over Sasuna, 1-1 draw. Athletic over Valencia, 2-0. And then today at 3 o'clock, you have Getafe and Granada. Um, Getafe minus 125. Granada plus 370. The draw is plus 240. Going over 2.5 goals at plus 130. Bundesliga, Frankfurt over Mainz, 1-0. Saturday, Bayern over Augsburg, 3-2. Hoffenheim, Hindenheim, 1-1 draw. Stargard over RP Leipzig, 5-2. Wolfsburg, Cologne, 1-1 draw. Bremen over Freiburg, 3-1. Leverkusen, Gladbach, 0-0 draw. And then yesterday, Union Berlin over Darmstadt, 1-0. Dortmund over Bochum, 3-1. Syria. Friday, Torino over Cagliari, 2-1. Saturday, Adelana over Udinese, 2-0. Juventus Assembly, 1-1 draw. Milan, Bologna, 2-2 draw. Sunday, Genoa over Lecce, 2-1. Verona, Frosinone, 1-1 draw. Monza over Sassuolo, 1-0. Lazio, Napoli, 0-0 draw. And Inter Milan over Fiorentina, 1-0. And then Syria, 245. Salernitana and AS Roma. Roma, minus 170. Salernitana, plus 490. Draws, plus 270. I like over 2.5 goals at plus 114. League 1, Friday. Rennes over Lyon, 3-2. Saturday, Nice over Mets, 1-0. Marcel Monaco, 2-2 two, two draw. Sunday, Montpellier, Lille, 0-0 nil, nil draw. Clement Fuss, Strasbourg, 1-1 one, one draw. Laurent, Le Havre, AC, 3-3 three, three draw. Reims, Nantes, 0-0 nil, nil draw. Lens over Toulouse, 2-0. And PSG, Brest, 2-2 two, two draw. Look at all those draws. I want to do a, a Fandor DraftKings... Um, Round robin with all the draws in soccer. That, that payout would be something. Um, Liga MX. Um, Friday, Puebla, Toluca, 1-1 one, one draw. Tijuana, Guadalajara, 1-1 one, one draw. Saturday, Cruises over Mazatlan, 2-1. Leon, Santos, Leon wins 3-2. Monterrey over Atletico City, 3-1. Nacoxa, America, nil nil draw. And it's on the UNAM over Pachuca, 3-1. Atlas over Juarez, 2-1. And time of recording, Querétaro over Tigres, 1-0. Women's Super League. Saturday, Chelsea over Brighton, 3-0. Sunday, Man United over Austin Villa, 2-1. Lee over Everton, 1-0. West Ham over Bristol City, 2-1. Man City over Tottenham, 2-0. And Arsenal over Liverpool, 2-0. All right, round of 16, Africa Cup of Nations. Um, Saturday, Angola over Namibia, 3-0. Nigeria over Cameroon, 2-0. And then yesterday, Guinea over um, Equatorial Guinea, 1-0. And Congo DR Egypt, 1-1 draw, but Congo DR advances 8-7 on penalties. All right, noon today, Cape Verde and Mauritania. Um... Copy Verde minus 110. Mauritania plus 370. Draw plus 180. LA Copy Verde minus 110. At 3 o'clock, Senegal and Ivory Coast. Um, 
Senegal plus 120, Ivory Coast plus 250, draw plus 180. I like Senegal plus 120. All right, the Asian Cup, round of 16. Um, started yesterday, Australia over Indonesia, 4-0. Um, Tajikistan and UAE was a one-on draw, but Tajikistan advances 5-3 on penalties. All right, coming up this morning, Iraq and Jordan. Iraq's going to be a big favorite. For sure. Um, I'll pull it up real quick. Iraq's even money. Jordan's plus 90 draws 2 to 1. I like Iraq and even money. And at 11 o'clock, you have Qatar, or Qatar, and Palestine. Cutter's minus 230, Palestine 6 to 1. The draws plus 298. Cutter should win. I like over 2.5 goals at minus 108. And on Tuesday morning, because I know the Tuesday show is going to be recorded after this game's played, Uzbekistan and Thailand. Uzbekistan's minus 185, Thailand plus 470, draw plus 270. Over 2 enough goals plus 102. And then ELC. Um, Birmingham Borough is postponed. Mill of Preston 1 1 draw, Sunderland over Stoke 3 1. And then yesterday, QPR Huddersfield 1 1 draw. And then Premier League comes back on the 30th. Um, Dutch era Devizy. Friday, PC's Wale over Vitesse 1 0. Saturday, um, PSV over All Mary City 2 0. And Arcacy Wall, Drake Sparta 1 1 draw. Excelsior FC Utrecht 1 1 draw. And Ajax over Heracles 4 2. And then yesterday, Heron Vinay's Elk March 2 2 draw. Fay Nord FC 20 0 0 draw. Gold Eagles and it's NEC 2 2 draw. And Fortuna over FC Voldedam 1 0. And then the Scottish Premiership. Saturday, Rangers over St. Mary 1 0. Celtic over Ross County 1 0. Hearts over Aberdeen 2 0. Kilmarnock, Hibernian 2 2 draw. Dundee over Livingston 4 1. And St. Johnstone and Motherwell 1 1 draw. So there you have it for soccer. Now move on to golf. Um, we will go over the results from the latest golf tournament, which was the Farmers Insurance Open. Um, your winner with a score of 13 under, Matthew Pavon. Second with 12 unders, Nicholas Hojar tied for third with 11 unders, Stefan Yeager, Nate Lashley, and Jake Knapp. Tied for sixth with 10 under, CAU, B.O. Hostler, Tony Fino, tied for ninth with nine under, Taylor Patrick, Ludwig Gaber, Patrick Rogers, Xander Shoffley, tied for 13th with eight under, Lil Zalatoris, um, Doug Gim, Ashke Bahida, Taylor Montgomery, Max Homa, Tom Whitney, tied for 20th with seven under. Emiliano Grillo, Thomas Dietrich, Rafael Campos, Robert Brum, and Mark Hubbard. Tied for 25th with six under Joseph Bramlett, Adam Shank, Shane Lowry, Scott Stallings, uh, Robbie Shelton, Parker Cootie, Trace Crow, and Chasen Hadley. Tied for 33rd with five under Aaron Ray, Hayden Springer, and... Rio Hasa tonight. Oh, and um, Joe Highsmith. Tied for 37th of four under. Alex Badley, Nate Hardy, Michael Kim, Ben Martin, Matt McNeely, Austin Eckroot. Tied for 43rd with three under. Keegan Bradley, Minwoo Lee, Scott Stevens, Alejandro Totsi, Sammy Valamaki, Eric Barnes, and Justin Lauer. Tied for 50th with two under. Kevin Doherty, Sungu Kim, Luke List. Dylan Will, Chris Goderip, and Bronson Burgoon. Tied for 56 with one under. Charlie Hoffman, Tyson Alexander, Carson Young, Justin Rose, Patrick Cantlay, Ben Silverman, Taylor Hogue, Victor Norman, tied for 64th at even. Ben Taylor, Lucas Griffin, Heath Ligley, Harry English, Mackenzie Hughes, and Taiga Simakawa. And then notables. 
Um, tied for 70th with one over. Alexander Zirk. Um, 78th tied with six over. Brand Snecker and Chad Raby. We went over the cut on the show for Friday, so we don't really have to touch on the cut. All right, the Australian Open. It was a great way to a great tournament. Yet again, we'll begin with the men's. All right, so the semifinals, 4C Janik Center upsets 1C Novak Djokovic in four sets. And then 3C Daniel Mavedev over 6C Alexander Zverev in five sets. And then in the final, it was a great match. 4C Janik Center over 3C Daniel Mavedev in five sets as Center rallies from two sets down to come back to win it. What a great finish for Janik Center as he is your Grand Slam champion for the Australian Open. And then on the women's side, the two semifinals, 12-seed Kuen Zhang over Diana Strunka in two, two-seed Arena Sablank over four-seed Coco Golf in two. And your final two-seed Arena Sablank over 12-seed Kuen Zhang in two matches or two sets as Sablanka wins the Grand Slam on the women's side. So congrats to... Um, Arena Sablanka, and obviously to Janik Center. So, great. Um, great event, obviously. So, we have the French Open coming up. Um... In May, obviously, so um, I'm trying to figure out when the next big ATP event is. So the Australian Open, so the next Grand Slam is the French Open. Then you have the Wimbledon, then the Olympics. And then, obviously, the U.S. Open. So, big year for tennis coming up. So, looking forward to the French Open. From the weekend. So, we're going to rapid fire it. Um, People are all over Dan Campbell for the second half of the Niners game. And Dan Campbell just um, talked about why he decided to go for it twice. Um, so the early line for the Super Bowl looks like the 49ers by one and a half. That's not surprising. That probably is the correct line. They're the better team. So they deserve to be favored. Um. Drew Tranquil from the Chiefs was trolling the doubters um, as he took being an underdog person. And guess what? You're, you, you're a deserving underdog again in the Super Bowl. And you deserve to be an underdog against the Ravens. And you probably should have been pick them against the Bills. Maybe Bills slight favorites, but they deserve to be dogs against the Ravens. That's for facts. And the 49ers are clearly the best team. But... That doesn't necessarily mean that I'm picking them to win the Super Bowl. You have to wait and find out who I'm picking. Um, and then LeBron, uh, LeBron, Lamar posts after a playoff loss as he's saying positive after not making the Super Bowl. So the Eagles are hiring Kellen Moore as their offensive coordinator and Vic Fangio is their defensive coordinator. Those are automatic upgrades for the coordinator positions for the Eagles over Brian Johnson and Matt Patricia, technically. And Mark Andrews came back against the uh, the Chiefs t- um, yesterday, so that's pretty cool. Um, Lamar Jackson was obviously really emotional, and Odell was consoling him. And Lamar had the play of the day. He caught his own pass.
Um, Kadarius Tony says that the Chiefs are lying about his injuries. Hmm. CBS showed him the Travis and Taylor moment at the end of the game, which was cool. Um... And then the Ravens, um, swag serve Sally as they were trolling Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey sweet after the touchdown. Joe Flacco says that DeMar Hamlin should be the comeback player of the year. As he said, he should be the final, the, he should be the winner for sure. And I agree with Joe Flacco and. Like we said, DeMar died on the field. He came back to life, and he played football, meaningful football. So the interviewing process for coordinators, the Steelers are interviewing former Falcons head coach Arthur Smith for their OC job. Bill Belichick says he wants the right fit for an opportunity in the future. The Falcons are hiring Rams quarterback coach Zach Robinson to be their offensive coordinator. And Belichick hopes to return to coaching in 2025 on his terms. Zach Ertz did not play yesterday for the Lions after uh, they signed him to the practice squad. Michigan defensive coordinator Jesse Minter says he'll be the Chargers next DC as he'll follow his boss Jim Harbaugh. More teams are interviewing Brandon Staley for their defensive coordinator job. Bucks offensive interviews. They met Calvin Moore, but he went up to Philly. And then Brian Johnson, who was the former Eagles OC. So the Packers were on the teams to interview Staley. I heard the Giants, the Rams. And then former Eagles offensive coordinator Sean Desai is meeting with the Bills and the Falcons. The Commanders are eyeing playoff coaches, um, Ravens Mike McDonald and Lions Ben Johnson. Looks like they're going to hire Ben Johnson. Marlon Humphrey ended up playing against the Chiefs. Um, Kadarius Toney sat out that game because of a hip injury and personal reasons. Debo came back for the Niners, which was big. Um... So we'll do um, rapid fire now. Um, so Yoshida's not drawing trade interest as teams are unwilling to take on the four-year $72 million left on the contract. And the Red Sox will not be pursuing Blake Snell or Jordan Montgomery, which is unfortunately not surprising for their fan base. Like I said, them and the Yankees are like kind of similar. How about this? The Guardians bring back Carlos Carrasco on a minor league deal. That's pretty cool. The Cubs sign Hector Norris one year, $9 million. That's a nice signing for them. Dylan C is asking prices as high as the White Sox want the sun and the moon. Of course they want the sun and the moon. Um, Luka Doncic had a 73-point game the other day against the Hawks. Dame Willard's going to be in the three-point contact which he usually is. Adam Silver getting a contract extension through the end of 2003. That's not surprising. Max Scherzer and Jacob deGrom are eyeing midsummer returns from their injuries for Texas. Um, bad news for the New York Knicks. Julius Randle dislocated his shoulder, but the initial x did not show much damage. That's not great for the Knicks. This is a nice run that they've been on. They've won six straight games. And some of them against good teams like the Heat. And they killed the Nuggets. But they need Julius Randle if they want to make some noise in the East. Joel Embiid, very disappointed in him. He did not play in that game in Denver. He's afraid of the freaking altitude. And the Sixers are babying him. Like, let him play in these games, Sixers. Left knee soreness, my ass. Um, although if he got injured in that game, I, the same people be like, see, so does Adam, 
Well, you don't sit him against the freaking Nuggets. You sit him against Brooklyn. You sit him against Charlotte and Detroit and Portland. You don't sit him against Denver. Come on. Frank Vogel says that Bradley Beal has played with a broken nose and could miss time. Cam Reddish out two weeks due to an ankle sprain. Mm. Um, Aaron Judge was at the Heat Knicks game. Um, teams like the Quentin Grimes, Hawks, Jazz, Wizards. Um, so the NHL Stadium Series jerseys were released. That was pretty cool. So, Klopp to leave Liverpool as he'll step down after eight and a half years and six major trophies at the end of the year. So, that's a great run. Vince McMahon resigns as he says he'll no longer have a role with WWE or TKO. That's not surprising. Um, Dave Yeager is joining Doc Rivers' the staff. That's not surprising. And multiple teams contacted Doc, but... He wanted the right opportunity before picking the Bucks. Um, CFL Rookie of the Year, Quintez Stiggers, um, set to enter the NFL draft without playing a game. That's something. Michael Penix's junior's medicals look clear, as doctor says his quarterback medical records look good amid injury history. Um, Deion Sanders' kids, Shador and Shilo, uh, bought him a car. That's awesome. Sharon Moore, um, contract with Michigan, five years, five and a half million a year. So, um, obviously Sharon Moore gets promoted. And I said on the show the other day, this was one of the rare instances where I don't mind like one of the coordinators being promoted to head coach in college. I'm always a big performer. So you're a big program, get some big names in there. But they just won the title. And more, and the job he did with that offense was sensational. So I thought more deserved the job. So that's like the one exception to the rule. So all the speculation is Drew Zobby's leaving at the end of the year. Um... As he'll step down as manager. Um, so Denard Wilson is getting looks for DC jobs. Rams, Titans, Giants. That's the Ravens uh, um, defensive backs coach. John Tortorella rips reporters for the Cutter Gauthier reports. Oilers win their 15th straight game. They're actually 16 in a row now, which is insane. And then Owen Tippett gets a contract extension. Eight-year deal. Altogether, that would be like $50 million. So six or six and a half million a year. So that's big for Philly to extend Owen Tippett. And Rangers center Philip Heedles out for the season. That is a huge loss for the Rangers. All these young guys that they've had over the past like five plus years have all been like injury prone. Him especially. Um, I don't know if he should be a part of their long term plans. And now the question is do they make a trade for a number three center with him out? Would you go all in? I mean, the last twenty five games are indicate that the Rangers are frauds and they're not a cup contender. And a lot of that hot start, Heedle was a part of it, and then he got hurt, and the team fell apart. Not that Heedle's Artemi Panarin, but he proved to be a more important player on the Rangers than we give him credit for. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. It's about a brutal loss for the Rangers from an injury standpoint. And then non-sports news, a jury has ordered Donald Trump to pay $83.3 million to E. Jean Carroll for... The um, defamation in her second um, such um, suit against him. So um, we're going to see how that plays out. So there you have it for news and notes.
Last but not least, my best bet of the day brought to you by FanDuel. Um, I gotta admit, this is kind of hard. Um, there's a couple that stood out, but one jumped out to me in the NBA. And this is just betting against a team that it has a star player injured. And that's the Dallas Mavericks. So I'm going to take Orlando getting the five. Um, I'm going to do a quarter unit on it. Uh, maybe Orlando wins outright. Maybe they just cover. But I think five's a lot of points. And I think that uh, that young group is going to keep the magic in the game. So I'm going to take the five with Orlando against Dallas for my best bet of the day. So that's it for the show. Be back recapping everything from today and looking at tomorrow. And you'll have so much more to do. Hope you guys have a great day, everyone.